there was this giant explosion um which scientists think is a one in a thousand year event for this sort of volcano it takes about a thousand years to fully recharge so it just happened to be around at the point where it is unleashed a vast amount of its magma in a really explosive way it's probably one of the most um energetic explosions of the entire 21st century so far this volcano erupted with a rude shock in the late afternoon local time we're all standing up my hand is shaking <laughs> what are we gonna do can you guys hear that it keeps it keeps bursting Hey, okay. See that? You guys see the smoke coming up? Massive. Eo, the volcano. It's the volcano. The explosion's ever more insistent. Oh no. Can you guys hear that? Oh my gosh. Man, it's loud. It's shaking the island. Look at all that. That's all from the volcano. There it goes. Is your ears popping? Ew, man. Oh, oh, man. While the world has seen and felt the shockwaves of a massive underwater volcano on the doorstep of the Pacific island of Tonga. We turn now to that rare tsunami advisory for the entire North American west coast from Alaska to California. And from this tiny speck in the Pacific Ocean, shockwaves across the globe. The blasts were heard as far away as New Zealand and Fiji. At sea level, the eruption resembled a mushroom cloud, a mass of steam, ash and rock surging out of the ocean 20 kilometres into the air. Just 70 kilometres from the Tongan capital. It's been erupting for weeks, but on Friday, violent activity increased, including a record-breaking amount of lightning. A boom could be heard 500 miles away. With air pressure changes recorded as far afield as Canada and even Scotland. And the entire region there has now gone quiet with communication knocked out. It's triggered tsunami warnings. This confronting video shows the impact of those swells. Lavinia Taumoi Piaulatu was on the phone to her husband in Tonga when the line went dead. The shockwaves from the eruption were felt across the Pacific, with tsunami warnings from American Samoa. But this type of event in this region is a massive, a massive surprise. Seismologist Dr. Lucy Jones telling us this is the largest tsunami from a volcano she has seen in her decades-long career. The tsunami affected millions. The South Pacific Islands, New Zealand, Japan racing past Hawaii to pound Canada, the US West Coast. Oh my God! And pushing thousands of kilometers south to Chile. More ominous than ever. What just happened? Water coming into land, it's never happened before. Monster tidal surges in Fiji, a domino effect from the undersea eruption more than 800 kilometers away. Close enough to hear the danger coming. Yeah, like boom and boom and the people are assuming that it's like a, a warship going on. Australians holidaying in Suva also feeling the threat. We just kept on hearing just massive boom noises in, in the clouds. When yesterday's volcano erupted near the island nation, turning the sky black, the reports from family and friends were terrified. When you see the video from Tonga of the actual eruption, it is like world ending terrifying stuff. On Tonga, it sounded as bad as it looked. Oh, holy shit. Deafening, and for those by the water, it could only mean one thing, run. Oh, oh, this is why. A tsunami generated by an underwater volcanic shockwave. The images posted on Facebook show people being driven from their homes. But then, after a few hours, everything went blank. 
So far, there have been no reports of deaths or injuries in Tonga, but this was seven times more powerful than the eruption on December 20 last year. It has been active for years, but an explosion of this scale only happens here once every thousand years. In Peru, tsunami waves crash through a market, washing away stalls and goods, sending panicked shoppers running in fear of what might come next. Tsunami sirens were heard in Ecuador. With good reason, fishing boats at sea riding rolling tsunami waves. In Chile too, sirens blared as swimmers left the beach because of a strong surge of impact stretched to New Zealand, Ecuador, Peru and Chile. The Bureau of Meteorology says those shockwaves travelled at more than 1,000 kilometres an hour, reaching almost 7,000 kilometres to Perth, with the sonic boom heard in Alaska, almost 10,000 kilometres away. New Zealand too saw the effects of the waves, the water tossing boats as if they were toys in this marina. Some fishermen said they had to run for their lives. In Santa Cruz, California, the rising tide caused minor flooding. And although that's more than 5,000 miles away, Santa Cruz was hit hard. Look at the tables right there. Woo. Wild waves shoved tables, chairs and heat lamps on the deck of Zelda's, a beachfront restaurant in Capitola. This surveillance video capturing the massive tide around 9 a.m. Saturday. Oh man, look at that. Startled locals rushed to find higher ground as water crashed its way through. A river flooding streets and buildings, including this church. Some were caught out by the rising tide. It took only minutes for the waves to arrive. The tsunami engulfing Tonga's main island, Tongatapu. The water rushing ashore into home. This is a significant geological event. Pete, volcanologists say this is the largest eruption in the Ring of Fire since 1991. It could be days to weeks to months, it's not clear. These ring of fire volcanoes in a way behave according to a pattern, but sometimes it's really quite individualistic. Um, it is surprising that it reached the west coast. Um, the, the simple uh, physics of it are, are really unlikely for anything like that to happen. The eruption was very powerful. There are reports that it was heard as far as Alaska. Wow. Um, there were sensors that picked it up around the world, um, not just seismic sensors, but sensors that measure sound that is inaudible to the human ear, infrasound. So it sent we pressure waves, sent pressure yeah. waves in the atmosphere around the globe. That's right. That's exactly right. Wow, that is extraordinary. When I picked up, he started telling me about the loud explosions and he was like, can't you hear it? Can't you hear it? And um, I was like, oh my gosh, you guys be safe. But he said it was so loud like the windows he thought the windows were going to break in the house oh. and um and then after that then shortly after we started talking then it started uh the sulfuric acid or the pebbles started coming from this guy and he was like oh it's raining but it's not really rain it's like rocks the beauty of Mother Nature and, and everything she gives us and then there's always, there's the other side of her too, you know. Mother Nature, of course, being wild in nature, obviously you can see the ocean right